on to pull up mania and this one is going to kick our ass get ready what is pull up mania pull up mania is a mean bitch this is where we do nothing but pull ups for a back workout weighted pull ups wide pull ups close pull ups all the pull ups he is warming up right now there you go brother yes get that back right you ready what's up everybody it's Paul again from Gainers Paradise. Thank you for joining me on this video. Today, I'm taking you through a workout that consists of nothing but pull-ups. Now, if you've never used pull-ups in a serious way to grow your back, to build that depth, to build that density from the lats up, then you might wanna rethink that and give it a shot. So, just to start off, we are gonna point out a couple things that matter for the pull-up. Your grip, the form in which you pull, and the the variation of the pull-up itself. So here you can see, we just finished our warm-up sets, and now we're going off and adding weight. So we're going slightly inside the shoulder width grip. Now this is on purpose. This is where a lot of your power is for your lats. When you're pulling like this, you wanna pull as if you're doing a wide grip pull-up. It's just that your hands are closer. So what does that mean? It means your focus still to pull that bar apart and keep the elbows out as you go up. So that never changes. It's just the thing that does change is the width of the grip. I believe in your lap. Come on, lap master, let's go. So in regards to your grip, when you're doing it like this, slightly inside shoulder width, and even at shoulder width, uh, this would be kind of the, the best position for your grip to activate your lats in the best possible way. Now, when you're doing this grip, what happens is you're pulling down and back with your elbows, and this actually activates the lats from front to back, top to bottom. And this is the best way to activate your back. In fact, Dorian Yates lived and died by this method, working your back from front to back, top to bottom. Now, he did start with his pullover machine, famously in his Blood and Guts video. However, you don't always have to start with that. This is another way to do it. So let's talk about the way to pull. So the way to pull is begin in a stretch position, and then when you're pulling up, you want to imagine you're pulling the bar down to you and apart, as opposed to pulling yourself up. If you do that, you tend to get better activation on your back, and you'll get a better result as far as growing the lats in the way that you're trying to. As far as rep range go, there's reasons to do high reps, there's reasons to do low reps, and you can even experiment with negative reps, you can experiment with hold reps, there's a variation of things that you can do. Now here we kept it pretty strict to just straight normal reps up and down, although we did keep the reps fairly low. In regards to that rep range, what we started off with was 20 warm up reps, no weight. In fact, some of you maybe don't have the strongest pull up, so you might start on the assisted to warm up that back or even a pull down. But for the work reps, what we did was 40 total work reps. Now most of what you're seeing here is that closer grip. We do end with a wider grip outside of shoulder width, and that is on purpose because our, our power zone for the pull-up is that shoulder width or just inside shoulder width grip. And you wanna pull as high as possible. If you can make it to the bar, do it. If you can't, that's okay too, but work your way up. That's the ultimate goal is to perfect the rep along the way. Now in regards to that rep range, there's science that shows that a 40 to 60 work rep per week per muscle group range is ideal for stimulating hypertrophy and minimizing that overtraining factor. Now what they found is anything over 60 reps, let's say you're doing 100, there's no significant increase in muscle growth. Now there may be reasons for a particular sport or some type of a competition that you want to increase your endurance and that's a whole other story but for these purposes we're talking about growing muscle and the way we broke up our 40 work reps was 20 with the closer grip and 20 with the wider grip and within those 20 reps we broke it down into a handful of sets but the point is to complete your 20 reps on the close grip and then your 20 reps on the wider grip now wider grip for us is still fairly close for most of you there's a myth out there that does 
persist and it's the wider your grip is, the wider your lats will become. That's already proven false and there's a lot of strain on the joints that occur from a, an extremely wide pull up. So keep it in your power zone, keep it in that most stimulated growth zone with the just outside shoulder width to inside shoulder width grip and you'll get the most out of your pull-ups. Back's getting wider, back's getting bigger, getting stronger, big pull, big pull, big pull. Yeah, get there. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Pull, pull, look at that. Yep, nice set. Now if you haven't mastered the pull-up yet, feel free to start on the assisted. Each week, work that weight that is assisting you down incrementally. Before you know it, you'll be strong enough to handle your body weight on its own, and then from there you can increase the reps as necessary. Now for the finish, we went by just outside shoulder width, and we threw on some chains to make it a little bit more intense to increase the Good stimulation. Good clean reps. Good clean reps. Yep, yep, yep. Finish your 10. That's it. 40 work reps, right here. That's it. Good job. Just give me the camera, man. Pull up mania, Tucker. It's time. Yep. Going wide. Finish it wide. The chain is just for show. Actually, Actually they're not. No, they're, they're not. They throw you off. Easy. Go. But thanks everybody for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Experiment with how powerful you can get with this simple, timeless exercise. Please hit that like button if you liked what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting more videos each and every week. Until next time. Keep training and keep gaining. I was ready to I'm done. Good job, guys. We're done.